Hello, I'm Elder Sun, and this is Fallout 4. This is my base that I've built at Abernathy Farms. Uh, my main idea was to kind of make a big tower. That was my central goal. I got fairly big, but I wanted to build some other stuff as well. So I was kind of limited in size, how tall I could make it. Because as you know, you can only place so many items. So this is the top of like the, the original structure. I've got some defensive turrets and whatnot up here. As every oh crap, I fell. Beep. That was my uh, cutscene thing. Where you go back to the beginning. Uh, people are in my way. Come on, you're in the way, people. You're ruining my video. So yeah, I've got a little. I don't know, a little market here. You get general store, clothes, bar, whatever, regular stuff, things for my people to do. And so now we will go down the stairs this time. We got a little bit of direct decorations, lamps and such. Make it nicer at night. Didn't change the interior that much of this place. I added some beds and took out some extraneous objects in here, but that's about it. I wanted to keep the uh, homely feeling of this area. That's that. Yeah, nothing too special. Still looks like home. I did add this though. You got you gotta have the rat steak head above the door. Yes. No. Yes. No. Out of my way. There we go. Thank you very much, sir. Gee. Uh, got the farm, of course. I added a whole bunch of crops. At least I think I did. Gotta have lots of crops. It is Abernathy Farm after all. Got the trade caravan. As any good settlement should have. Brahmin. One lonely Brahmin with two feeding spots. And then this little shack, as you can see, it's for electrical and tools. So guess what we're going to find in here? Uh, workbenches! So yeah, we got the... What's it called? The scrapping thing. And we got generators and that. And it's very loud for me. I hope you guys can still hear me. And yeah, I'm not going to spend too much time here. It's quite cramped. I wouldn't want to be working in there, but sucks for them. And the windmill at the top. And a turret in case anyone tries to get in here and steal my stuff. Uh-uh, not happening. Here's the main market. Oh, uh, yeah, just regular stuff. I don't know. And I like this little walk right here. It's a good defensible position. It's kind of in the middle of town. Not many ways you can get in. It's fortified. you got cover here. You can hide behind and shoot and lots of gun turrets, so... Anyone, anyone coming up here is not going to have fun. So you either have to get through this little area, go through like the whole like center of town and get here, or fight their way up the stairs, which again has other choke points here and here. And that leads us to the other markets. Lots of more market stalls for people to go on. Another good defensible position. Got two turrets and lots of cover. As anything you would as you would want and of course they can't get up here without going through all this stuff too which is highly defended and this was meant to be kind of like a little shop kind of ran out of stuff to put down and upstairs is kind of a little bunk area barracks bunk I don't know what you want to call it I guess the only difference between barracks and bunk would be if it's housing soldiers or not and you got this thing now be warned, the tower was kind of barren. I couldn't really do much about that. So yeah, there's some beds and plants, but it's not all that fancy. More beds and plants and flags and pictures and junk. And this is just a consequence of uh, this little gap, a consequence of how the flooring works and the walls. So just end up with these gaps. But in hindsight, like if you wanted to shoot someone through here, you'd be fairly protected. It's like in the castles where they have the slits going up and down for the archers, but instead it's going side to side, so... I don't know. <laughs> Make of it as you will. I hope you realize how much and here is like a little office area. You gotta have lots of filing cabinets, of course. Ooh, there's stuff in there. Did it, did it come like that? I must have just bought it and it just had that stuff in it. Because I don't remember ever putting anything in there. Yeah. Gotta have the nice tropical beach picture so that when you're working in the office here, working at your computer, your terminal, you can just look over, oh it's a beach, if you get bored of that, oh you're in the mountains. 
However you feel that day, you can be wherever you want. And now we're getting near the top. Empty floor. And the top. Ta-da! It's decently high. I did have a couple uh, stories higher, but I wanted more stuff, more objects to put elsewhere. So I kind of shortened it a bit. So my idea was you'd come up here, you'd be on your patrol, you'd go over to the clinic, get some chems, and just mellow out. Oh yeah. And yeah, that's pretty much this fort. And again, good watchtower and defensible position. Can have a sniper up here and picking up would be attackers. So, yeah, thank you for watching my video. And if you like my settlements, uh, give the video a like, comment, whatever you like. And I'll just probably put in some cutscenes of it at night and stuff. So, keep watching.